Arkansans will soon decide if four casino licenses will be issued throughout the state. Our Kelly O'Neill is in studio to break down everything you need to know about issue four before you head to the polls. Voting yes on issue number four would support the initiative to authorize four casino licenses in Arkansas. Those casinos would be built in Crittenden, Garland, Pope, and Jefferson counties. Of those four licenses, two would automatically go to Southland Racing in West Memphis and Oakland Jockey Club in Hot Springs. Two Native American businesses have expressed interest in applying for the other two licenses near Russellville and Pine Bluff. This is the first time that Arkansas has ever had the opportunity to vote on a uh, fair, merit-based casino measure that provides for local control. If approved, ballot issue number four would grant Southland and Oaklawn automatic licenses to conduct casino gaming. Others that are interested would need to submit an application and follow additional requirements. If this amendment passes, there will be a $5.8 billion economic impact to the state of Arkansas in the next 10 years. Um, there will be $800 million of private investment into the state. Alex Gray with Driving Arkansas Forward says if this amendment passes, Passes, it would create an estimated 6,000 jobs. His organization is leading the campaign in support of this initiative. The Cherokee Nation, which also supports the casino measure, agrees the economic impact, including tourism and entertainment options, would be vast. Uh, within the Cherokee Nation, which are the northeast Oklahoma, 14 counties, we have over a $2 billion economic impact annually. So it's in the form of jobs, it's in the form of buying goods and services within the trade area. Under this measure, casinos will be subject to a tax rate of 13 to 20 percent on net gaming receipts. Campaign ads from Driving Arkansas Forward claim that revenue would go towards better roads. Tourist dollars coming into Arkansas and not out of our pockets to fix our roads. Danny Stracely with the Arkansas Department of Transportation says these ads may be misleading. Quite simply, it does not uh, fund the state highway uh, uh, transportation fund. Uh, the money goes into the state's general fund. A closer look of the bill shows all revenue is split between the Arkansas General Revenue Fund, the Arkansas Racing Commission, and the city and county the casino calls home. But opponents like Pastor Tom Hatley say the social costs would be a different story. It's addicting enough to the, uh, a significant number of people that it causes damage. Some people, when they're addicted to gambling, uh, they'll use their household money, they'll use their rent money, and they'll end up destitute and dependent upon others. Some of them will turn to crime to try to get their money so they can go gamble again. Hatley argues casinos could target people with financial difficulties. Arkansas will only get a small percentage of the gambling receipts compared to what other casinos have to give up. So this is really a bill made to make four people rich and everybody else poor. To read the full statement from RDOT in the response from Driving Arkansas Forward, head over to our website. That's nwahomepage.com. In studio, Kelly O'Neill, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.